everybody, it's Black Cat. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Thank you so much, everybody, uh, like for your love and support uh, for what I'm trying to do and help in the community here in the Bronx. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm just a Social Security, Disabilities Act, Welfare. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker down here in the Valley of the Shadow of Death. And I got this amazement opportunities and knowledge for you guys that uh, if you just, you know, laugh along with me and, you know, like, like this, this journey is something else here. I'm Black Hat. That's Big Red. Y'all going to see Big Red in a minute. I'm on an electric Kawasaki Ninja uh, um, motorcycle and uh, it's fire, you know what I mean? So I got updates to tell y'all about what's going on. It's going to be a minute. This video is going to be a minute. We're going to definitely take a night ride and um, this is the beginning of a new set of new adventures of Black Cat and Big Red. So so I want you guys to understand that I don't have much in the community, you know what I'm saying? And I've lost like um, all my loved ones are gone, you know what I mean? Mom, dad, brothers, and sisters, you feel what I'm saying? Lost in the sauce in America, you know what I mean? Children, it's crazy with my life. But I like to try to keep it 100 with y'all because uh, the rules are gully and they simple. So I say gully because uh, while we bopping down the street, the Constitution is just flying out the door and we don't realize that we pretty much diplomats as citizens in America under the Constitution. The Constitution is there to work for you, not against you. It hinders you in no way. So, um, nothing is above the Constitution. above the Constitution except your God, your religion, ideology of your uh, supreme being. So under the Constitution, you don't have to believe in a God. It's, it's you, the citizen. You have the right to your own ideologies as long as it doesn't infringe on others and commits crimes. So you can't be biased against each other. This is the land of freedom. That's the Constitution. The Statue of Liberty. Liberty means freedom. That's, in, that's over here in New York where I'm at. The Statue of Liberty. So uh, every organization y'all bitching about that's uh, a governmental agency in anywhere in the country, it's only because you don't understand the Constitution of the the, 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 the uh, public businesses are uh, they not businesses they they are uh, they are organizations that we put into the system to help us so when they fringe upon that that's civil lawsuit but we have to wake up to this and we'll bring back our power you feel what I'm saying so this is what I'm gonna be teaching so number two is that I got two different groups of people that are saying oh you don't need a license to drive that you know, on the highways and stuff, because I'll be on the highway. So I tell them, no, I'm traveling, I'm not driving. So people that don't understand the travel laws, they come into the conversation and they say, uh, they're not giving you a ticket because it's electric. So you have to understand the concept of an electric motorcycle. That's what I'm on. So, so if you believe that I'm not supposed to be on the public highway, why am I up standing on the public side? The 
is there to help us. So why is it always working against us, you, you might ask? Hold on. It's working against you because as soon as you look at this, you say, oh, no, hell no, you need a license to drive that, you know? Yeah, if I was selling something or using it for a business, yeah, I would need a registration tag on the back of it so the police and the government will know who I am. But I'm not driving the vehicle. I'm traveling. You see what I'm saying? So, Department of Transportation exempt. This is not a license plate. This is a private notice to the police. That you have your, I'm traveling under the powers of the Constitution. I'm using my diplomatic status as a free citizen in America. You can travel from point A to point B on your conveyance, your private property. Commerce means that you are using your vehicle to move merchandise across the states and highways all through this country. We as citizens, American citizens, every last one of us, pay taxes on the bridges, the tunnels, the highways, the, the, the breakdowns of every inch of highway in America. And we've been paying for that since we had a social security card. So now you're gonna tell me I can't be on a public highway or street? I, I pay for it. This is a government entity. We, we put this in, we, we, this is integrated. The people did this. We the people did the infrastructure of this motherfucker. These are governmental in, uh, entities. You feel me? When you go to the DMV, you can get a, uh, you can, you, you now under the policies of the DMV. You can get tickets, fines, seeing the judge all day. They taking your cars, towing them, putting boots on them because they're not your car. It ain't yours. You got a registration tag on it. got a registration tag on your vehicle and if you go see a judge under the Constitution that's what the judge is holding up the law on you got a you got a commerce tag on your private car sir you're not traveling you give me your license and registration now come on now you can't do that to a person that's tra freely traveling because license registration insurance please I'm traveling officer and if the officer you seem to think that that officer don't understand anything you just said? Ask for a supervisor right away. Because if you give up your, your ID, you know what I'm saying? You're giving up your Fourth Amendment to your privacy laws. That's the main thing you're trying to hold on to, man. They don't need to know nothing about a private citizen uh, in America. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm traveling. See that trash truck over there? That's commerce. That's got to have a registration. It's got to have uh, tags. It's got to have inspection. It's got to have. It's got to obey the policies of the DMV, the trucks and everything. They got to stop and stop lights. Don't go up one way streets. You know, do their job and get the fuck up off the road because these are public streets.
You don't want your streets looking like this? We got the power to do that. Put motherfuckers in office that's going to do it. Or tell them motherfuckers to back down. Before we bite them in the ass. We the America. We the people. We'll spank that ass. What are you doing, man? So what y'all see me doing is called freely traveling. We're on a live video, so if the police pull me over, you're going to see me in action. I'm Black Cat. You know, what is your name? Black Cat. Sometimes they say good citizen. I'm Black Cat. You know what I mean? Here's my card. Get your lieutenant out here. Your, your, your supervisor out here. What's your name and badge number? Who are you talking to like that? Yeah, man. I want to let you guys know that um, I'm not riding with the lithium anymore. I'm not riding with the lithium anymore, y'all. I uh, Today, it was early this morning, I put, took the lithium out and put my uh, A6s back in, my acid batteries back up here in the big boys. So my bike is real, real heavy. And this motherfucker moved. So uh, when I lean it over and test the wheel, it goes up to like 140 something, man, on kilometers. That's like 90 something miles per hour just on the acid battery. I only gonna get about six, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm only gonna get about tops seven or eight hours out of these batteries that I got in, the, in this bike right now. So, uh, yeah, I lost train of thought, but I was saying something about the, uh, the batteries in this bike. It's like real powerful, man. Smooth. 
riding a bike, you know what I'm saying? Like anything can jump out at you. And you on two motherfucking wheels, man. This is crazy as hell. But it's so like, to me, it's like, the violence of it just keeps me alive, you know what I mean? And like, it becomes artwork. And I don't know how to let you understand that, but straight up, you ride a motorcycle, it's straight artwork fucking with these things, man. It's like a picture in front of you. Just ride right into it. everything we just flew 10 miles <laughs> yeah 10 miles out on an electric Kawasaki this bitch is fire let me let y'all let it get another look at it so yes sir this bitch is fire uh -oh, it looks like I'm on a hump or something. Yeah, that's what we did all that with. over here real quick I can give y'all some layout and some stuff I want to get off the uh, um, uh, people this is a private property the gas station so we're gonna take it on public property right now right here by this police car and we're gonna discuss the Constitution of America the travel laws that's what we're going to do is talk about the travel laws. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Or are you right? Or are you wrong? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. For real. Welcome. Y'all done seen what this piece can do, you know. It was at least on 60 at points. You feel me? So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. I mean, again. Oh, baby. This is a, uh, this is a fly wing. Ninja. Call it a fly wing ninja. It's the fairings of the Kawasaki Ninja motorcycle, uh, 2000 and, uh, I believe that was, uh, 2020. This is a 20, 22 model. Got this right here. I got big boy battery. Here, I took the, took the lithium out of here. 
put the uh, big boy batteries from top to bottom all the way across inside there and the bike is super heavy now it rides smoother dances a little bit better when it's light it's, it's, it feels too dangerous the wind can it plows through the wind that's what I mean like motorcycle heavy so yeah she plows through the wind but uh, when you got a uh, when you got a, um, a lithium battery in it and it's windy outside it moves the bike too much violently and if you're not you're not ready for that you know to make you crash so now we'll be back on the highway you guys with the bike and um let you guys really see my traveling <coughs> so the uh uh, the lithium battery that I was going to supposed to get the 55 amp never came in but y'all remember uh, ghost and you remember uh, diamond well my cousin came into the game so like let me explain something to y'all right my cousin and I we drink a lot but he, he really drink and um, when I found my cousin on my mother's side He's a distant cousin on my mother's side. Not too distant, you know. But uh, we bumped into each other here in the Bronx. You know, only family. And we both Muslim. And he got, he almost cried when that, when that white bike left. But I was going, I told him, I said, listen, man. I need to flip some, I need to flip these bikes. Because I got to get at Big Red. So, you're not giving me, you know, money you're not giving me money like you know so like in like a month you give me seventy dollars what type of shit is that these motherfuckers cost money you know what i'm saying so but i thought that that motherfucker was being so sincere about changing his motherfucking life i hired him to work at my establishment kqw dsk studio social media radio so he also takes care of the e-bike studio that i have and and the grounds, he's, you know, take care of the grounds of the, of the studio. So, this is what I have to offer for my community when I'm self-employed. Of course I need people that will work. But, um, it's almost like a crackhead move. It's funny like that, you know what I mean? But when you look at the heart of it and the condition of our country, our people, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you can help a motherfucker, you should help them. So that we got rid of Diamond. He was happy with Diamond, the black bike. <laughs> the black and green one. He was happy with that. So I said, yo, I got to flip it. And he said, go ahead, go ahead. Started crying again. You know what I'm saying? This nigga was back at the bar. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my shit so I can get my cousin off that corner. You feel me? And change his life. This right here broadens your horizon. You know what I mean? So like you can get out. You know what I mean? And um. People, they check, you know, like, you haven't been in a video with me yet, but people come right over and just start asking questions about the bike. And, you know, like, late at night like this, you know, it's mainly in the daytime, but late at night like this, you got to be on your toes when a motherfucker just pop up on you talking about your bike. So, uh, I'm on a public sidewalk, but I'm at a private, you know, industry, a uh, uh, private business, I mean. So, uh... I don't know if it's a police car. I think it is. Isn't that a camera on the back of it? That's the camera right there. So, yeah. Uh, this is a damn lifesaver, man. So, like, you go down to the DMV. Like, that's commerce. That's that's carrying merch, uh, merchandise. Uh... uh the human beings are the are the are the, are the uh, commerce. Just like when the slave laws, when they were moving us around, we were commerce because we were slaves. We were commerce. We was we was we was nothing but lamps and tables and y'all seen us? Y'all seen us? Come on now, stand there like a lamp. Let me put my feet up on you like a stool. We were owned people. When they moved us, we were commerce. The ships and the, and, the, and, the, and the vehicles that were moving us had to go through the government. 
went through something called the, the, the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles. And what do you do there? You give all your information up if you're going to carry my shit around. You give all your motherfucking information up. We're going to find your motherfucking ass carrying all our TVs across this country. Uh, we lost the truck. Well, where my fuck? What's your name? I didn't give it in the beginning. No. You have federal investigations in the whole shit. Are you crazy? So you don't need to go to Commerce uh, to drive your car in America, man. You pay taxes on the highways and byways. The infrastructure of America is DMV, the Department of Transportation, man. No matter where you at in America. There's no private place in America that's, that's like a highway that's private, man. So, all that shit is ours. All that shit is ours. Yeah, millionaires could take that away from us, they would, man. But it's the Constitution. That's why millionaires and billionaires can't buy this street right here and say it's their private shit. You know? Oh. We're not going to stand for that as the, as the uh, citizens, you know what I mean? No, these are highways. Y'all taking it too far. Don't get, me a tr don't get, don't get it fucked up. They'll try. They'll try. So, all right, everybody. I um, guess we're going to leave it here. <laughs> we're going to leave it here. How much time, how much time we done done? Oh, we did like 27 minutes. I guess, I guess I'll take y'all back with me. Yeah, I'll take you guys somewhat of the way. I think I might get something at the store right quick. That's what I mean. So if I gotta, I don't wanna take y'all in a private store, you know what I mean? Recording and shit. Talking about I got weed, nigga, I got weed. Y'all be like, look at this nigga right here. This nigga's free, mommy. <laughs> That's right, we free, man. We free. You can ride a horse down this place. You can take your family out. There's a park right there. You can ride your horses, you and your families. This is all legal in the Constitution, man. Yeah. You don't need no license registration to be on no horse. There's my horse. Yeah. You got to give up ID to get that one. That's owned by a private business. Yeah. This is my Fourth Amendment right here. You don't get no ID from me. Ain't no victim. Come on, leave me alone. I'm traveling. You need to go talk to somebody before I start taking everybody's money around this piece. If you want to get motherfucking rich, fucking film the police. That don't just mean the police. Address your government, man. Get them niggas on camera. This ain't a game. It's our lives, man. Let's change this, for real. So, um, wow. Yeah, we gotta, I was gonna do something. That's all right, let's get out of here. All right. Let's go home. This is fucking tricky. Yeah. You gotta have patience with them. But they fire. They give you, they give you that parameter. They give you that view. You just gotta get used to the to the new look. But they work like a bitch. They sure do. You know, so like this is like so much fun, y'all. To like get on a motorcycle of your own. It's not aggressive. It ain't loud. Let me explain. Oh, let's let's talk about that for a minute. I don't want one of those. I don't want 
on one of those because nobody can hear you and it's very dangerous. So, because you can hear me, that's 100% uh, uh, more better. So many motorcycles are having accidents because the sound of that motorcycle scares people and that motorcyclist is not experienced for someone who's jumping out of their way and make them crash at a high rate of speed. The motorcycle is a very aggressive machine. So if you stay in the left one and stay where the car can see you on the right uh, uh, rear view mirror and inside the car, and his, his mirror inside the car, you, you use this bike strategically when it comes to another car, other cars around you, like, like what I'm coming up on now. So I'm staying on to this left side of these cars so they can see these motorcycle lights coming up. It's a motorcycle behind us, baby. You know what I mean? So everybody take it easy. So they already know I'm here, you know what I mean? So I got to stay with them in their perimeter. You know what I'm saying? Because if I have to move, they're going to know that I'm moving. So I'm going to make myself like made my, like a bee around. You know how a bee just come around you out of nowhere? That's what, I, that's what a motorcycle's like to a car. Get the hell out of the way. Ah! You're using too much cologne. <laughs> See, these motherfuckers are going too slow. Oh, no, I don't want to be over here. This, uh, that panel right there. I just don't want to be over there. <laughs> oh, so we got a big tire coming, y'all. I know focus coming. It's a beautiful night out here, man. You know, just take it easy. Enjoy the night. So far, everybody's friendly so far. Nobody put their middle finger up while we get out of the way with your toy. We're on the very opposite side of the Bronx Parkway. So, uh, the only thing is that the Bronx Parkway will keep you moving, you feel me? So, uh, I, I, you can do this a lot faster. But, uh, this is just in our little, this is what the city looked like, you know, shut down. You know, it's a thriving place in the daytime. Hey, kitty cat. Yeah, it's a thriving place in the daytime. But look at it here in New York City, like, like we don't have no backbone that we want to get out, open up small businesses, make the, I thought this was the place where nobody slept. These motherfuckers are sleeping out here. This is that bullshit I tried to tell y'all. I was like, why don't you be they sleep? No, they not, Kim Kim. I live right here. Don't tell me what I know. Ain't that a bitch? This motherfucker right here gonna tell me what I know. Niggas are sleeping. All the, every last one of them sleeping, baby. Come on, now. I don't know what this dude is doing right here. Sometimes they be trying to cut you the fuck off, man. You gotta be like, they be bugging, man. So we're coming into uh, police territory right now. Well, you see, this is, uh, I'm coming down here where uh, the 47 precinct violated my sober right. They took me off my uh, private property 
took my wallet from me, took my keys out my bike, took my bike from me, put me in handcuffs, and um, took me to jail. And my fight is that I'm constitutionally trapped. I'm under the American Disabilities Act. Get my, my, my leg apparatuses back to me. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, they trying to squeeze up out of it any kind of way they can. But, uh, we already spoke to the Cochrane firm. So, you know, they haven't given us our, uh, they haven't given me, uh, my, um, I have not gotten my, um, I need help, y'all. If y'all can get send my page somewhere, you know what I mean? Like, listen, right, I need, I need somebody, uh, to help me, you know, audit these police officers and get my, they trying to, like, nail me to, like, like, no, some, no, they not. No, they not. I'm, I'm, I'm under the powers of the Constitution. They not fucking with me. You see me back out here. They not, they don't fuck with me. I done been past four or five cops. So, you know, coming through here. And now I'm in the neighborhood right now. It's a whole, it's a whole precinct up here. The motherfuckers, hell yeah, I'm getting my money. Y'all crazy as hell, I'm getting my money. As soon as I can get me a team, man. We're gonna fix this shit, man. We're gonna, we're gonna be able to uh, ride on our streets and highways, man. We're gonna be able to come out and do some shit. Nah, damn, man. Is born everywhere the fuck you go, man. Nothing happening, man. It's like niggas got so many, so much shit going on right now in America. It got everybody shit. It's very dangerous to be out here. Believe me, I already know. Most niggas that got to be out here at this time, yeah, it's crap. Nobody playing. Ain't nobody playing. This is New York. This the police tape right here, everybody. To my left. That, that this nigga's locked me up. This police tape right here. This is the police These motherfuckers right here. Yeah. Getting them motherfuckers. The 47 police tape. Long Island Audit. Direct D. I need y'all motherfuckers, man. I need y'all help, man. For real. Like, if the money long, we, we get paid. That's it. I mean, say less, you know what I mean? Sometimes we need y'all. And, like, that's the fuck, that's another fuck, the thing. All of us audits out here in New York City, we could, this shit, this shit, we gotta, like, get this a wrap. We gotta take down hell to the yeah. We gotta take over this shit. Hell yeah. They scared to death of us. Every time we come in one of these places with our cameras on, these off, these are, come on, man. First Amendment, you the, you the press, man. You the press. Yeah. And you don't want to accept that type of power. Go find out, like, you know what I mean? What you doing here? Recording your motherfucking ass. what I'm doing here. Hell yeah. That's what the fuck I'm doing here. Recording your dumb ass. Yeah, what's your name and badge number? Or your, what's in your ID? Who are you? All right. Yeah, who are you? You have to know how to accept the education that you're getting when I, when you say you're getting it from me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to show y'all that everything I'm doing is legal. You know, even if I jip this light, it's legal in my in my world. I'm not following the policies. You know, I'm not under the government. You know, you can't give a you can't give a private citizen a ticket. I don't get I don't have a driver's license or a registration. So how are you giving me a DMV ticket? It's impossible. So what's the other option? That's the Constitution. I'm traveling. Well, let me see. I don't like. I didn't. What's what? What do you need to see my ID for? What's the uh, what's the RAS? What's the reasonable articulate suspicion of a crime that you've seen that I've done? If you ain't, I didn't commit a crime, you ain't getting no papers. Come on, come on, uh, Jones. Come on, Mr. Jones. Come on now, with yourself. You know what I mean? Always Mr. Jones fucking up, fucking everything up. 
for everybody and shit. Yeah, so. <coughs> We're going uphill. <laughs> the Bronx is like a lot of uphill stuff too. And like these electric bikes have even got that kind of power. They don't like uphill. <laughs> They get moving though, they get to moving. You know? They definitely get to moving. <laughs> the thing about these bikes is they got a they got a personal relationship with your private parts. <laughs> I'm trying to let you know. Yeah, that means your ass too. Bucking you all up in the ass. <laughs> Give me a heavier pair of jeans, goddammit. Oh shit. <coughs> They're fun to ride. I guess you guys could tell. I'm not even having a good time. Backyard right here, y'all. I live right around the corner from here. This is what my backyard looks like. Yeah. This is where I wash my clothes. <laughs> Just an ordinary person, y'all. Come on now. Thank you so much for coming out. Like to share. Learn this uh, travel laws. Get that constitution in you. There's five points. Hey, Black Cat, what's going on, Nico? It's Nico. Nico, oh snap. What the hell? Whoa. All right. Yeah, she dead. She was my spirit. Yeah, she dead, Nico. There's Nico. Hey, my Nico. So, yeah. Uh, much love to my cousin. He got that bike in the month of Ramadan. And he didn't know what to do. What to say about all the money. That I put into the bike for him. And I told him. That's Sadaqah for him. From Ramadan. That's my religion. Islam. Allah asks us to give. Sadaka to our fair man and to want for your brother what you want for yourself so he got a motorcycle we at the cave hey buddy what's going on <sighs> sit up here what are you doing huh what are you doing hmm? you saying hi to everybody hey hi Nico, that's a good boy. That's Black Cat, everybody. Waiting on his master. Waiting on your best friend, right? I got you. 
You hungry. This this dude cost this dude cost money. I'm trying to tell you, you eat four, five, six times, eight, nine times. Dad, come on now. Open the door, as big as you are. It's crazy. Alright. Let me let let me let y'all go. Hold on, Nico. Oh my goodness. Yo, thanks a lot, everybody. Get that constitution in y'all. I'm trying to let y'all know, man. This is what's up. You know what I mean? Travel laws. And like uh I, if, like, if you've never been on a, you know, you would like to be on a motorcycle or whatever, go ahead and, um, what was that? Go ahead and, uh, get your electric motorcycle on, man. And much respect to my motorcyclists, you know, with the end of motors, you know. I've always loved you guys, you know what I mean? I love all, anybody that's moving on two wheels, big up to you, man. That's, that's my, you my peoples, trust me. You gotta be a brave motherfucker to be on these motherfucking shits. I'm trying to tell you, you got to be, it's artwork. We the best artists. I'm an artist. And showing you shit on a piece of paper. No, I'm an artist. <laughs> I had a nigga kissing you on the back. And, Cut the fuck off my bike. What the fuck is wrong with you? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, shit. All right, everybody. Peace out. Black cat. Drive safe. Travel safe. Peace, everybody. <laughs>